Hey. You shaved your mustache. Huh. That's what all that hair was in the sink. You look very handsome. How about yeah. bed and breakfast? Bed and breakfast as opposed to what? As opposed to anything else. Oh, it's time to go to the well again, huh? What a very sensitive way of putting that. <laughs> yes, I've checked my cycle, and I feel that we'd have a better chance of success at this particular time. You know, aren't we getting a little far afield? I mean, did man of war ever accept breakfast? Mason, I know that we're not romantically involved. However, I don't think of us as barnyard animals. I know that. I'm just trying to make a point, Julia. It's not that I don't trust your intuition or your charts, but I, for one, naturally infer that when you stick around for bacon and eggs, that you have something of an emotional stake in the night before. Okay. Uh, then you pick the spot. I mean, it's up to you. I didn't know that you had anything against bacon and eggs. Ocean no, not specifically. All right. Uh, I made the reservation, but nothing's wrong. You can change it if you'd like. Well, say something. Maybe I should. What's wrong? Well, I think you felt it, too. I don't have to spell it out. Oh, what out? Second thought. Beginning to have my share of them before we go on with this arrangement of ours, we need to have some things clarified. Do you want to go on? Mm-hmm. The priest or something? Victoria doesn't confess her plans to me. Where she goes, when, where she goes. Well, I have blown it, haven't I? Well, why would you say that? Because I have a long personal history of playing the wrong notes. Well, it's a good thing you're a lawyer, not a concert violinist. What did you want to clarify, Mason? Our modus operandi. I mean, ocean views and roaring fires might be fine for Heathcliff and Catherine, but they won't go for Mason and Julia. Well, neither do you drab motel rooms. No, well, we've been extremists, Julia. We need to find a middle ground. Okay. So maybe I got a little carried away. You're right. I'm sorry, I got to thinking about the future, and I wanted something special for the baby, even before it was born. Well, maybe you wanted something more for the baby, even after it was born. I have not changed my mind about being a single parent. I don't blame you for wanting to enjoy our little game of conception roulette. <laughs> enjoy myself with you? I didn't see anyone else under the covers. You and I have a deal for a productive, reproductive encounter, and that is all. Exactly. No hearts and flowers. If you're trying to make me feel foolish, you are doing a very good job of it. I am merely trying to point out the dangers of us sneaking away to these romantic hideaways. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the fact that I'm going to get emotionally involved with you. I am well aware of that. What I'm trying to point out not too delicately or successfully, is that not all of us are as much in control of our emotions as you are. As much as we would like to be. Virgo, I suggest, a more neutral environment. All right. Um, I'll then why don't you pick the spot? How about the Capwell Hotel? So much for neutrality. Well, it's pleasant and it's practical and it's right here in town. Reality everywhere we turn. All right. All right, that's fine. As long as nobody sees us. How about seven? Fine. Unless you have other plans. None that I know of, no. These arrangements shouldn't interfere with your personal life, Mason. I don't want that. In fact, if you're seeing someone else, it's all the better. Because as far as we're concerned, this is nothing more than a business transaction. I only know one business where that's true. You know what I mean. If you're seeing someone else, I don't want you to worry about us. But, uh, there is no us. I mean, about me. I'm, I won't get in the way. Not worried in the least. Good. That's good. Because uh, I, I know that you and Victoria Lane have become friends. Maybe more than friends. You know. I know that you've been lonely since married. 
Look, Julie, I appreciate your concern over my social life, but I can send for myself. I never doubt it. Besides, if rumors are correct, she's leaving town tonight. As a matter of fact, I was just on my... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I keeping you? No, not at all. We can cancel this whole thing tonight. We don't have to do it tonight. I understand. No, no. The show must go on. Tonight's the night. Mm -hmm.